Hello, yes, it is I, the bird, coming at you once again for a product review. Today we'll be looking at... What are you doing? Reviewing a figure. As previously agreed upon, you do the regular stuff, and I review figures and other media. Yes, of Thundercats products. This is a cat. You know full well that isn't a Thundercats product. More to the point, the viewers voted, and you weren't their choice for reviewing this. Why should I care? I am bird. I rule all. Get going before I just cook and eat you. This is speciesism. I'm being threatened and oppressed. Ree Welcome everyone to my very first Transformers review. I figured I'd start with MP48, Lyo Convoy, for the obvious reasons. For the few of you not in the know, Lyo Convoy was the leader of the Maximals, known as Cybertrons in the source material, in the anime Beast Wars II. We'll start by taking him out of the box, then tossing the box because I don't care about it. MP48 comes with the figure itself, and some missiles, as well as a gun. But let's take him out of the plastic and set him up. Here he is in beast mode. That of a white lion with a golden mane, he... That's a lion! <laughs> Look at him! He looks like he has a genetic disorder! Someone call a poacher and put this thing out of its misery! It's clearly suffering! Get out of here! As much as I hate to say it, the bird brain has a point. This is... not good. Now, the way Takara has been doing their masterpiece figures for a while has been leaning into animation accuracy, and for their Beast Wars line, they have done a phenomenal job. Dinobot alone is an engineering feat. Lyo Convoy's Beast Mode... isn't. While the face itself is somewhat accurate, the rest of him is a mess. I even have cells from the show to confirm this, and there's a comparison with the model sheet you can see here. Let's look at the issues with him first, then compare him to other Masterpiece Beast War figures, then previous figures of this character. Firstly, we have the face. For some reason, he has two sets of canine teeth. One set protrudes from his muzzle, and the others are in his proper teeth, which is horrifying to look at due to the lack of bottom jaw articulation. There's honestly just way too much robot kibble in this form. It looks like a robot is in the fetal position and just tried covering himself in mangled lion parts. The stubby tail doesn't help either. But the biggest problem is honestly the mane. It sits awkwardly, doesn't really lock in, and covers nothing. Let's compare him to a couple of other Beast Wars masterpiece figures. Let's look at Cheetor. While he has some obvious kibble, like his kitty booty hole, he still has a good balance of animation accuracy and hiding the robot parts. Same goes with Optimus Primal, who mostly has it in his back legs. Heck, even Dinobot did a better job of it. And if you're wondering why I have images on screen instead of the figure, it's because I really don't feel like getting him to transform for comparison. It's just not worth it. But I do love Dinobot. Ha! Sentiment! Mm, the more time I spend with you Maximals, the more I wonder how you've survived so long. But I'm not just here to complain, dear viewers. I like making recommendations for solutions as well. The easiest way they could have fixed the biggest issue here is to just double the mane in size and let it lock in. Here's some digital edits I did to show what I'm talking about. While not perfect, it would go a long way to correct how horrible this looks and would be more accurate to the animation model. And a longer tail wouldn't hurt either. And considering the entire assembly can just be popped off on a single joint, I'd say right now I would spend a decent amount of money for a third-party company to just do an add-on to correct this. Just put him down! In this charade! But anyways, on to the comparisons. Now, let's compare him to other variations of this character. We have him in Beast Mode compared to the original, Flash, and Black version. Yes, mine has some yellowing. Get over it. As you can see, the original does a better job of hiding the kibble. I also like the stinky face he makes that you see house cats do. Yes, I know that's supposed to be a snarl, but I like calling it what I did. Now, the original has pop-out missiles in beast mode. Does this new one? Well, he has missiles and guns, but you have to pull the pieces out and plug them in manually. And they look far goofier in the Masterpiece version. As you can see, the Masterpiece sticks out like a sore thumb in this group shot. A deceased one? One you should amputate! Even compared to the Robot Masters version, it just looks bad. But enough of ripping on the beast mode, let's get him into robot mode. I use no instructions because I'm a man. Instructions are for cowards and fools.
Having transformed him, it's obvious where most of the budget for this figure went. The robot mode is almost one-to-one -one for the animation model, including a mechanical lion head and mane. A neat bit of engineering, I have to say. You can easily place his gun in his hand, or load him to bear with all the missiles. And if you're not using them, some of them can clip into this neat little add-on for storage. He also has his claws that come out, and the lion legs tuck in well when they're not out. I'm genuinely impressed with the robot mode, and it has a decent amount of articulation that makes sure it can do very neat poses. Here is where he's compared to the Masterpiece Primal and Cheetor. And now with the other Lyo Convoy figures of this version that I own. Of note is the fact that the original also has an attack called Lion Typhoon, a feature that does this. Can the Masterpiece do it? No, while you can spin the main around to emulate this, it doesn't have a feature to spin it. Disappointing. Now, would I recommend buying him? No, I really can't. Not unless he's on sale or there's a third-party add-on to fix the main issue here. Pun intended. He's around 160 on Hobby Link Japan, and I really can't justify telling any of you to pay that much for this. Especially considering Optimus Primal was only around 120 and was done better than this. Speaking of Optimus Primal, though, the burning version of that Masterpiece figure is out now. It's from the Beast Wars the Second movie where Lyo Convoy and Optimus Primal team up. That's where Flash Lyo Convoy came from, and doubtlessly what this Masterpiece will be released in a repaint of. Same with Black Lyo Convoy. Fun Transformer fact, the evil Black and Teal Optimus trope in Transformers started in Beast Wars the Second with Black Lyo Convoy. Rodimus Primal did a video on the trope, I recommend checking it out. I've been using this character's name as my online handle for about 20 years now, and I have to say I'm disappointed with how this figure came out. I voiced this on Imgo's review of the figure, and he made fun of me. There will be vengeance. I'll likely review Verding Convoy in the near future, if Big Bad Toy Store ever gets him in. But next time, we're covering the TFCon exclusive from 2019, G2 Planet X Vulcan. That does it for my first Transformer review. Some feedback and critique is always welcome and likely needed. I'd like to thank my patrons Avis, Hateful Tate, Harry Partridge, Bombastic Blake, Busy Robot Hands, Envy the Jealous, Firepaw, Jody Spoor, Blinky Iris, Ian Richter, Lord Ben Maza, Jonathan Aranda Bowler, and Snarcast. Your support makes all the difference. If anyone else wants to support this channel, links in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.